Chapter 15, number 7. Suppose that the 1.3 kilometer main span of steel for the Golden Gate Bridge, so the length is 1,300 meters, back to the standard unit for length, Golden Gate Bridge, and it's made out of steel. You'll get to it in just a moment. Had no expansion joints. Actually, it does, but hypothetically has no expansion joints, how much longer would it be for an increase in temperature of 15 Celsius degrees? So what happens if the temperature was increased by 15 Celsius degrees or 24 degrees Celsius for example from just freezing 32 Fahrenheit to 56 Fahrenheit and that would be the same as going from 0 to 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, there is a equation as given here is that the increase in change, uh, the increase in length, equals the length, the original length, times the coefficient of linear expansion alpha times the temperature difference. That's why steel was important because each material has its own coefficient of linear expansion and steel is given as alpha equals 11 times 10 to the negative 6 1 over Celsius degrees. Notice that this is not quite scientific notation um, but tables listed that way so that most materials can be given as 10 to the negative, 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so the increase in length is going to be 1,300 meters times 11 times 10 to the negative 6, 1 over Celsius degrees, times 15 Celsius degrees. Made a slight mistake here earlier. This should be written as degree Celsius degrees. All temperatures differences are written as Celsius degrees. I don't think our book pays attention to that but that's the case. And then that comes out to, well, we'll see in a moment. First of all, these units here divide each other and we will come up with simply meters and we go to the graphing calculator and see how much that is. So that was 1300 times 11 and then 10 to negative 6, that's how my calculator is doing it, times 15 and I come up with 0.21 meters so looks like two significant figures as well, 0.21 meters a um, little bit less than a foot or approximately 8 inches, that's small compared to 1,300 meters, which is almost a mile, but 8 inches is not negligible. Um, that's why the bridge actually does have expansion joints. Problem 8 says a 10 meter long steel wire, so 10 meter long, 10, actually 10.00 meter long steel wire supports a pendulum bob at its end. How many millimeters longer is the wire when the temperature increases by 20 Celsius degrees? So delta T equals 20.0 Celsius degrees. Again, for the steel, that's alpha equals 11 times 10 to negative 6, 1 over Celsius degrees. And then the increase in length is 10.00 meters times 11 times 10 to negative 6, 1 over Celsius degrees times 20.0 Celsius degrees. Again, the Celsius degrees divide and on the calculator it's going to be 10 times 11 10 to negative 6 times 20 Celsius degrees 
0.0022 meters. 0.0022 meters, and that would be then 2.2 millimeters. And I believe we have three significant figures actually. Nope, two, because of the steel giving only as two significant figures right here. So 2.2 millimeters, roughly a tenth of an inch. Number nine says two equal lengths strips of aluminum and steel are heated. Which expands more? How much more? That is, by what factor is one expansion greater than the other? So here in my drawing, perhaps the upper one should be steel, and the lower part should be aluminum. I'm going to look at that that way that if I heat up this bimetallic strip and it's supposed to move up, then it's the aluminum at the bottom that has to expand more and the steel less in order to make it curve upwards. Okay. Notice that there are actually no more numbers given. The only ones that really are given are the coefficients of linear expansion. We already had this one in the past couple of problems. And then for the steel, it's also given in the book as 24 times 10 to negative 6. One or so degrees. And really, it says what is the ratio, or what is the factor, um, by how much one expands more the, than the other. Well, it's simply the, the ratio of the two coefficients of linear expansion, so 24 over 11, that, and that comes out to a rounded 2.2. So 2.2 times more is what the aluminum is expanding than the steel. As I said, there are no numbers given on this problem, but if you took numbers um, and you plugged them in, for example, from the last problem where you said, okay, let's assume that we have a length of 10 meters, and so 10 meters and a temperature difference of 20 Celsius degrees, well, then for the steel, we would come up with 2.2 millimeters. We already know that because we calculated it in the last problem. And for the um, aluminum, we would have virtually the same calculation except right here we would have to plug in 24 and that would give us 4.8 millimeters. So delta L for the aluminum comes out to, what is it again, 4.8? Yeah, 4.8 millimeters. And there you see that ratio is that 2.2 between the two.